Mr. Prime Minister, uh, distinguished guests on the panel, and friends. You know, as a company and as a corporation, we are more known as an IT corporation in our sales of totally $9 billion and 160,000 people. Uh, and we export about 90% of our total solutions and products. But let me use this occasion fitting to what we do in manufacturing in India, because that is this occasion. We have a business called Wipro Infrastructure Engineering, which is the largest third party hydraulic component manufacturer of cylinders in the world. The interesting thing is the entire technology, the entire design, and the entire manufacturing for this business has been locally designed and developed. Our strength is in our global R&D service centers, our ability to design for value in these centers of expertise which are there across the globe. The products which we make are suitable for extreme climates, heat of the Middle East and Africa and cold of the Antarctica. We have indigenously designed and developed state-of-the-art integrated plants in India which incorporate the best of breed technology designed to deliver new benchmarks in global quality. We have been able to create a unique blend of frugal and low-cost innovative designs which has got us a unique positioning in the global market. Our manufacturing facilities consist of 13 facilities across the globe. We have three in Sweden, one in Finland, one in Romania, one in America, one in China, and five in India. They are all completely state-of-the-art plants and are very, very automated. Our value addition in-house is almost 45%, with balance 55% coming from suppliers. We have created an ecosystem of more than 1,200 Indian suppliers uh, who supply the majority of our requirements and 80% of our raw material is sourced and components is sourced from India. We have now ex expanded into the similar products for the aerospace and defense. True success of manufacturing lies in the ability to service global markets. While our overseas revenue is, twin, is, is, is about 50% uh, of our total produce. In summary, competi competitiveness comes from outthinking not others continuously and not through outsourcing our thinking. The demand for outthinking is not only in formulating strategy, but at all levels in every excruciating detail. It is not about one day of good thinking, but it leaves layers and layers built across the organization. It's a mindset of the organization to think and then to act and then to translate. The Prime Minister's vision of India as a manufacturing powerhouse calls for the preparation of educated workforce of thinkers and problem solvers and not rote learners. Thank you.